Hello everybody, welcome to Getting APIs to Work. Today's video we will look at managing API versions. So in the last video we looked at semantic versioning which is a very specific way of how you handle version numbers and what they mean and so forth. This time we want to look at API products and how you manage API versions for those API products. So when you look at what that means, it really means that when you look at an API as a product, how do you manage this over time so that any changes that you make to the product are managed in a way that is acceptable for consumers? On the one hand, you want to make consumers happy by improving the product. On the other hand, you want to avoid making consumers unhappy by disrupting them when they already use the product. So let me go to my favorite analogy of beer. So I brought these two beers and these are kind of the same beer, but they are different products because using that analogy from my API product video, there's different delivery mechanisms involved with how to get to the beer. So it's kind of a breaking change. If you started consuming beer in one way and now you have to consume it that way, you have to learn how this thing works, otherwise you won't get to the beer. So this is what we're looking at today, how to do this. And sometimes when I talk to organizations thinking about API versioning and how to manage it, they, in my mind, obsess a little bit over certain things that are not that important. So for example, they spend a lot of time and energy deciding how do we name new versions. So do we put the version into the URI? If so, where do we put it? Do we create a new domain name? Do we put it at the end of the URI? Do we put it in the beginning of the URI? Don't we even put it into the URI? Do we put it into the media type? Do we have some content negotiation going on? All of this is important and I think there should be a pattern that is used so that this is handled consistently across all of the APIs that an organization has. But to me, in the end, that always is just something where none of these things really have any magical features. All of them have slight advantages and disadvantages. Just pick one and be done with it. I think that really is the most important thing there. This is something that probably needs to be decided, but it's not really all that important how it is decided. It just needs to be decided. What in my mind is much more important is to think about how do we manage our product across versions? And I think there's two important things there to keep in mind. One of them is how can we evolve a product without breaking consumers so that we don't have to go through all this hassle of version numbers and so forth. And that is something that I think often is taken a little bit lightly where organizations are not enough focusing on making sure that each API that gets developed is extensible and evolvable. Because if you do it like this, you minimize the number of times you have to make a breaking change and you make consumers much more happy. And because of this, in my next video, I will explain in much more detail how to design for extensibility and evolvability because I think that really is important and that should be one of the core things to think about when you think about how to manage API versioning. And one, one of my jokes always was when people ask me, can you talk about API versioning? One of my jokes always was yes, what I would like to do is just show one slide that says, don't drop the mic and walk out of the room. Ideally, I think that is what you should try to do. Minimize the number of times you even have to do versioning by designing for evolution. On the other hand, sometimes you have to do versioning because there are breaking changes that are worth it because you think, okay, this new API that we are designing this new API product really is so much better that we are willing to go through the painful process of doing a breaking change. 
And in that case, you have to have mechanisms in place that allow you to do that in a graceful way. That means that as part of API lifecycle management, you should have planned ahead on how you notify API consumers of an upcoming change in the API. You have a way, for example, to deprecate the API, and then you have a way to sunset the API, and you have ways of communicating, communicating that to API consumers. That is also important, I think, and also often is not really part of what organizations focus on when they look at API lifecycle management. And I think that's another important aspect. And therefore, there will be another video coming up that talks about deprecation and sunsetting in more detail how to do that for APIs. But in summary, what I wanted to talk about in this general overview of API versioning and how it fits into API management, I think the main takeaway is really try to avoid hard versioning, breaking changes, try to establish API design principles that make it easier for API products to evolve gracefully. That's number one and I think the most important thing. Number two is if you do have to make a breaking change, right, you change from one product to the other and they're different, so people consuming these products have to adapt and that is disrupting them. If you have to do this, also plan ahead for this and make sure that your API design includes mechanisms of how you can do that. And that can differ greatly depending on who's consuming the API. So for example, for private APIs, this can be very different than it is for partner APIs or public APIs. But it is something that should become part of your API design practices. So plan ahead, think about it, and then API versioning will not be as daunting anymore. It's just one thing that you can do within your API management practice. With that, I'm done for today. Thanks very much for listening. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them down there in the comment section. My next video will be on extensibility and evolvability. So we'll look more into how to do this specific graceful evolution of APIs in, in more detail. Until then, have a great time and see you soon. Bye.